טובה, חתימה טובה, may you be written in the book of life. about the Torahs. You, you are on top of that? Yeah. Just to make them disappear. Somehow we'll do it. So just take them to my office. I just don't want them. Is it, is it, is it? As a story, I'll pay for us. Huh? I just, I am scared to death of what it could be. All the Torahs is standing there. It's a dead job. Okay, I'll talk to Zach, make sure I can get in there. Perfect. We're going to start in a minute. Hi, how are you? Hatima Toba. I saw you, no, don't stand. I saw you in Rosh Hashanah. I, you were sitting here. I did see you. I'm glad to see you again. And this is your daughter. Hi, I Ruth. I am Nico. Very nice to meet you. Welcome. Shana Tova, Metuka. Shana Tova, don't stand for me. Better. How are you doing? What happened that you can't? Do you need to have a surgery? Oh, it's good to hear. Rabbi, you have never met our daughter, Tree. I have, I, we'll have seen online at least each other. She's on in tons of your pictures. So I, I, I do know of her existence. Hi, Nico, nice to meet you. She was my surprise. Good, that's awesome. That's very nice. Now yes, Max, sorry. I, like, I, I saw that too many things that weren't in the right place when I arrived. I need to make sure that they were. Hi. Doctor. My son and my daughter-in-law want to know, are you coming to the convention in Chicago? No. No. I'll tell them no. Okay. No. But they said they wanted to send their warmest regards for the happy new year. I am going to be in Israel. Shanato Rome to come. Shana Tova, do you buy anything? Of course, you will. I want fiddles. Shana Tova, good to see you. Good to see you. Very good to see you. Very, very good to see you. Your grandmother, of course, over the moon. Hi, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Very nice to see you. Shana Tova, Very good to see you. Very, very good to see you. Thank you. Shana Tova, good to see you. You know, I remember you. I, I know that everybody forgot you. That was in the funeral. But no, I, I do know. What time is it? I have no watch today. 7.01. Five more minutes. Look at you. So good. 
good to see you. It's very good to see you. Hi. Shana Tova, Hatima Tova. At the end, I missed your uh, art presentation. You brought me the flyer. But we said I wasn't going to be able to make it, but I had a thought that maybe. I know. still arriving.
Opening the ark, opening ourselves. Yom Kippur, the Jewish people's festival of the soul. And Kol Nidre, its sacred portal. A night of deep emotions. A night, as the psalmist wrote, to rejoice with trembling. We rejoice at the sound of Kol Nidre, rhythmic words of release from vows, oaths, and promises to God that we fail to keep. We tremble at the melody, music of spiritual amazement. It fills us with awe as we stand before God and Torah. We rejoice that we stand together strengthened by community in this hour of shared weakness and humility. We tremble for tonight, we confess our flaws, admit our imperfection, and acknowledge a power far beyond our understanding. We rejoice that we commit ourselves 
to great endeavors because we feel so deeply and think so nobly. We tremble for we find that our ideals are greater than our ability. Our promises surpass our might. We rejoice in freedom that is called Nidre true gift. The freedom to begin a new year without the fear of failure. To aspire to be God's image in the world. We tremble because we are mortal. We rejoice in gratitude for life. We rejoice with trembling and enter Kol Nidre to face our humanity. I'd like to invite Noga for candle lighting on page nine. Please rise. Nidre, a chant that begins in a whisper and rises to a cry. On this night of promises remembered, each soul in solitude communes with the soul of the universe. God, from this day of atonement to the next, may we reach it in peace. Al Yisrael makes these vows to turn from wrong, dishonesty, and greed. To walk in the path of justice and right. Yet we know our weakness, how prone we are to fail. Help us to keep our word. Help us to act with humility and integrity. We seek pardon and forgiveness. We seek your radiance and light. Now as we start to prepare ourselves toward Kol Nidre, I'd like to invite you to, to take a moment and to let the music of Kol Nidre, the melody of Kol Nidre, guide you through silent meditation as we prepare our spirits for the moment of Kol Nidre. You may remain seated and I will tell you when to open that.
Light is on for the righteous, radiance and joy for the pure of heart. Beyeshiva shelemala, ubeyeshiva shelemata, aldat amakom be aldat akal, anu matirim leit palel ima baharyani. With one voice, assembled sages, past and present, declare, all may pray as one on this night of repentance. Let none be excluded from our community of prayer. With one voice, God and congregation proclaim, all may pray as one on this day of return. Let all find a place in this sacred assembly. On page 18, all vows, results, and commitments, vows of abstinence and terms of obligation, sworn promises and oaths of dedication, that we promise and swear to God and take upon ourselves from this day of atonement until next day of atonement, Abba Aleinu Letoba. We regret them. And for all of them, we repent. Let all of them be discarded and forgiven, abolished and undone. They are not valid and they are not binding. Our vows shall not be vows. Our resolves shall not be resolves. And our oaths, they shall not be oaths.
shall be forgiven the entire community of Israel and the stranger who lives in their midst, for all have gone astray in error. We're on page 20. to God as you have been faithful to these people ever since Egypt please forgive their failings now in keeping with your boundless love and God responded, I forgive you, I forgive as you have asked. And we say after Kol Nidre, She'echeyanu be'kimanu be'giyanu las manase. We recognize this moment in our lives, in this time of opportunity.
Turn now our Maxorin to page 22. Blessed are you, Adonai. Your great name fills the universe with majestic might. Your word creates twilight and dusk as your wisdom opens the gates of night. Your discernment separates the changing seasons and causes the passage of time. The stars arrayed across the sky reveal your design. Uma virjom, ume vilnaida, uma tilpenjom uve naida, aronai tseva hochemo, el chai ve kayam, tamidim no chaleinu leodam vaher, barochata aronai, barhuch barochemo. And as we get closer to the Shema, we start thinking about the presence and the strength that gives us the presence of an everlasting love, of unconditional love in our lives. About to land Beit Israel, we are on page 26. Beit Israel, am chahavta. Torah mitzvot bukim uishpati, otanu nimadeta. Okin, 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 Adonai Eloheinu. Bishochvinu, bishochvinu, uvikuminu, nasiach bechukah.
silent reading of the Shema between pages 34 and 35. We are at the bottom of page 36. Leman tiskeru baasitem et ko mitzvotai bitem kiroshim lelo echem ani adonai lelo echem asher otzeti etchem meretz mitzrayim liyot lachem lelo him. Ani Adonai lo hechem emet. Adonai lo hechem emet. Emet bevkun akol. Sot bekayam aleinu ki Adonai lo einu ben sulato bianach misrahel amocho. We continue with the silent reading over page thirty-eight. May I listen to you? Witness to this heroic might, the people thanked and praised God by name, freely accepting the reign of heaven. Then Moshe, Miriam, and all Israel sang to you together with joy, Micha Mocha by Elim Adonai, who is like you, O God. We are on page 40.
to create and to become shelters of protection, shelters of support, and especially in this Yom Kippur we pray for love, to let love transform us, to be transformed by and with love. Thank 
Kitaharu. From this day of atonement shall be made for you to purify you from all your wrongs, and pure you shall be in the presence of Adonai. It kadal, it kadash me raba, be al madi ve rachirote, ve yam lich machute, ve chayechon yu ve yom echon, of chayet echob et Yisrael, ba gala u vizman karif, ve yimeru amen. Yehesh me rabba me vorach Le olam ulon me almayna Itbarach Itbarach Vishtabach Vitpaar vitromam vitnase Vitadar vitle vitalal Shemid kureshab rikhom Le'ela ul'ela mi'kodechata ve'shirata Tu'ush be'chata ve'nechemata Our Sidorim to page 46. Please rise if you are physically able for Filat Amida. Hey. 
And so, in your holiness, give all creation the gift of all, turn our fear to reverence, let us be witnesses of woe on there, perceiving all nature as prayer, Kahamelai. We bow to the sovereignty of your strength, the primacy of your power. We yearn for connection with all that lives, doing your will with wholeness of heart. Oh, inspiring is your creation, all encompassing your transcendent name. And so, in your holiness, give your people the gift of honor. Bless with praise those who praise you. Bless with hope those who seek you. Give your believers the basis for our faith. Through happiness for the land of Israel, through joy in Jerusalem. May the sparks of David, Abdeha, your servant, soon grow bright enough for us to see a beam of light in the darkness, a promise of perfection. And so, in your holiness, give the righteous the gift of vision bright with joy. A world where evil has no voice, and the rule of malevolence fades like weeds of smoke. Good people everywhere will celebrate the stunning sight of arrogance gone from the earth. Page 58. <laughs> Behati on Mishkan Kivateha, 
וירושלים עיר קודשך, ככתוב בדברי קודשך, אם לא חרוני לעולם, אלוהי ציון לדור ודור, הללויה, קדוש אתה ונורא שמך, ואין אלוהה מבלעתך, ככתוב, ויגבר עונאי צבאות במשפט, והאל הקדוש נקדש בצדקה. ברוך את ארוני המלך הקדוש. אתה בחרתנו מכל העמים, אהבת אותנו ורצית בנו, ורוממתנו מכל הלשונות, וקידשתנו במצוותיך, וקרבתנו מלכנו. לעבודתך, בשמך הגדול והקדוש עלינו קראתם. ותיתן לנו אדוני אלוהינו באהבה את יום הכיפורים הזה, למחילה ולסליחה ולכפרה ולמחוא בו את כל עוונותינו, מקרא קודש זכר לציית מצרים. אלוהינו ואלוהי אבותינו ואמותינו, יעלה ויבוא ויגיע וירעה וירצה, וישמע ויפקד ויזכר זיכרוננו ופי, ופיקטוננו, וזיכרון אבותינו ואמותינו, וזיכרון ירושלים עיר קודשך, וזיכרון כל עמך בית ישראל לפניך. לפלטת לטובה, לכן ולחסר ולרחמים, לחיים ולשלום, ביום הכיפורים הזה. Eternal our God, remember us, say amen. amen. Be mindful of us and redeem us. Amen. For a life of goodness and blessing. Amen. Favor us with words of deliverance and mercy. Show us the depths of your care. God, we await your redemption, for you reign with grace and compassion. On page 66, read together. Our God and, and a God, God of our ancestors, pardon, pardon our, our failings, failings on this day of atonement. atonement. Erase our misdeeds. See beyond our defiance. For Isaiah said in your name, It is I, I alone, who wipe away your defiant acts. This is my essence. I shall pay no heed to your errors. And the prophet said, As a cloud fades away, as mist dissolves into air, so your wrongs and mistakes shall be gone. I will wipe them away. Come back to me, that I may redeem you. As you said to Moses, for on this day atonement shall be made for you to purify you from all your wrongs. And pure you shall be in the presence of Adonai. Page 68. God who is ours and God of our fathers and mothers, lead us to holiness through your mitzvot. And may each of us find a portion of Torah that is ours. You bestow such goodness. Teach us to be satisfied and to know the joy of your salvation. Oh, hey, hey, hey. 
your blessed and nice sovereign who forgives our failings and pardons the failings of your people, the house of Israel. You vanish our guilt from year to year. You reign in majesty over all the earth. You sanctify the people of Israel and the day of atonement. We continue. We continue with the reign of the Amidah in silence until the bottom of page 78. Let us be remembered and inscribed in the book of life. May it be a life of goodness, blessing, and prosperity. May it be a life of peace. We are at the bottom of page 78. <laughs> for us, all Israel, and all who dwell on earth, and let us say, Amen. Amen. So we are about to enter the special liturgy of Yom Kippur, the section of confession and slichot. And, as, and we are going to do it Three and a half times over the next 24 hours. Iminha is very short. 
I'd like to invite you to think about two words. And, and then I'd like to let the liturgy to do its work. You know, we have wonderful English translations if you struggle with the Hebrew. Read it. Let the, let the melodies accompany you and read the English. There are two central elements for the confession and for the slichot. One is humility, and the other one is courage. The humility to accept that we have place and a space for improvement in our lives, and the courage to recognize that we can do something with that idea of improvement, that we need to challenge what we do and how we think about things in order to actually take the opportunity that the Day of Atonement opens before us or presents to us. So again, you will see that we say, and we will read a long list of things that you might say, oh, it has nothing to do with me. In this area, I was perfect. <laughs> like, it I was just fine. <laughs> but ask your wife then, or ask a, or... <laughs> you know, Yom Kippur is about perspective, right? And, uh, and I'm sure that you do very well in many areas, as all, all of us do very well of man in many areas of our lives. We are good in nature. <laughs> And we, and we mean well most of the time. So, in any case, I encourage you to, to take each of the words and to say, maybe, maybe I have something to reflect on with this word. Maybe not. Maybe this word, with, you let this pass. Think about the next one. Stop and think and reflect and try to do the hard, but very, very, very important work of Yom Kippurim. One last thing, I shared a Midrash in Rosh Hashanah about Teshuvah. The Midrash of Rabbi Eliezer that says that you can do Teshuvah until the very last day of your life. Can you tell me what Teshuvah is? Return, forgiveness, repentance. I hear all kinds of different words. I'll give you an idea for Teshuvah instead of a word. Teshuvah is the opportunity to transform our lives for the better. To apply critical thinking to our lives and to do something with that. And Yom Kippur is the festival of Teshuvah. So I encourage you to, to use the liturgy and to think about how you, how all of us will be thinking about how we can improve our lives. We are on page 82. One more thing I want to tell you about the nature of Yom Kippurim. You, you are, are you ready? It's you now. You, you want to go My for a while. My engines are revved. So, I am ready to go. So, so we stand a lot during, uh, during the, the piece of, uh, of slichot and uh, confession. We will be standing for a long time. Now, there are two, you, can, you can rise in your, on your legs and on your spirit. So, if you don't feel physically comfortable, please, please rise in your spirit and remain sitting. Okay? So now please rise in whatever manner you can. We are on page 82. <clears throat> Eloheinu, veloi avotinu vimoteinu, tavo lefanecha tefilateinu, veal titalam mitchinateinu, anachnu azef, animushke oref, lo ma lefanecha, adonai eloheinu, velohe avotinu vimoteinu, tarikim anachnu, velo chatanu, aval anachnu chatanu. Please join me in English. Our God and God of all generations, may our prayers reach your presence, and when, when we, we turn, turn to you, you do, do not, not be indifferent. indifferent. Adonai, we are arrogant and stubborn. 
claiming, claiming to be blameless, blameless and, and free, free of sin. sin. In truth, we have stumbled and strayed. And done we have done wrong. wrong. Banu Dofi He Evinu Vehir Shanu Zadnu Zadnu Khamasnu Khamasnu Tofanu Shekel on page 82 and to read it in English now quietly. You know the secrets of the universe and the secrets of the human heart. You know and understand us, for you examine our inner lives, 
Nothing is concealed from you, nothing hidden from your sight. Eternal One, our God and God of our ancestors, we pray that this be your will. Forgive all our wrongs. Pardon us for every act of injustice. Help us atone for all our moral failures. We're on page 86. Together, the ways we have wronged you deliberately and by mistake and harm we have caused in your world through the words of our mouths. The, the ways we have wronged you by hardening our hearts and harm we have caused in your world through careless speech. The ways we have wronged you through lies and deceit and harm we have caused in your world through gossip and rumor. The ways we have wronged you by judging others unfairly and harm we have caused in your world through disrespect to parents and teachers. The ways we have wronged you through insincere apologies and harm we have caused in your world by mistreating a friend or neighbor. The ways we have wronged you through violence and abuse and harm we have caused in your world through dishonesty in business. Continue with the reading of Al Het over page 88 in silence. Al Het Shabbat Shalom Lefanecha Bechol Nistar Al Het Shabbat Shalom Lefanecha Bekahat Ul Al Het Shabbat Shalom Lefanecha Begili Al Yor Al Het Shabbat Shalom Lefanecha Bechol Mishte Al Het Shabbat Shalom Lefanecha Beyitzer Ara Be Al Het Shabbat Shalom Lefanecha Bechol Mazid Al Het Shabbat Shalom Lefanecha Nicha Tadi Al Gadom Page 90 Al Het Shabbat Shalom Lefanecha Besinat Chinam Let's read together on page 91, Failures of Love. We sin against you when we hurt one another. For our failures of love, Adonai, we seek forgiveness. 
for exploiting another for our own pleasure, and for the wounds we cause through betrayal and deception, for withholding affection from those we claim to love, and for using love to control our spouses and partners, our children and parents, for abandoning friends and siblings whose love has sustained us, and for neglecting those who love us when they need us most, for harboring in our relationships mistrust, boredom, and disloyalty, and for rejecting our partner's efforts at repair and renewal, for possessiveness, jealousy, and avarice, and for lashing out in anger at those who are closest to us. And at the bottom of page 91, we read together, Be'al kulam, Eloa Aslichot, Slach Lanu, Machel Lanu, Kater Lanu. For all these wrongs, God of forgiveness, forgive us, pardon us, lead us to atonement. On page 92, you will find the beginning of a uh, silent confessions. We want to invite you to dedicate to yourself to find one, two portions that you like to read between pages 92 and 95 and take a moment for yourself for your personal confession, for a moment, a moment of personal reflection. Let our needs rise up with the darkness, our cries with the rise of the sun. All day our praise is before you, songs of joy and bliss till evening come. We're on page 96. If you are able, please remain standing. <laughs> Shavatenu mi boker Veyera erinu nenu adarev Adarev Ya ale kolenu me erev Veyavo Tenu mi boker ve yera epidionenu adarev adarev ya aleinu yenu me erev ve yavo. Tenu mi boker ve yera ena akatenu adarev adarev oh 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 ay 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 oh Oh, 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 oh,
Call Adonai our God, show us compassion, accept our prayer with love and goodwill, take us back Adonai, and let us come back to you, renew our days as in the past. Shema Adonai Eloheinu Chos verachem aleinu Vekabel verachamim Uveratzon et tefilatei Hashivenu Adonai Elecha Venoshuva Chadesh, Chadesh Yameinu Adonai Eloheinu Chus berachem aleinu Bekabel berachabim Uberatzon et tefilateinu Ashiveinu Adonai Eh 
Passionate, gracious, endlessly patient, loving and true, showing mercy to the thousand generation, forgiving evil, defiance, and wrongdoing, granting pardon. 
Adonai, Adonai, el rachum bechanum, erech habayim berachesed behemet. No zer chesed la alavim, no te abom bafesha bechata benake. Adonai, Adonai, el rachum bechanun, erech habayim berachesed behemet. No zer chesed la alavim. We turn our machsorim to page 103. Consider the clay in the potter's hand, stretched and rolled as the artist desires. So are we in your hand, our loving protector. Look to the covenant, not our imperfection. Consider the stone in the mason's hand, broken or kept whole as the stonecutter sees fit. So are we in your hand, creator of life and death. Look to the covenant, not our imperfection. Consider the iron in the welder's hand, held to the flame or removed at will. So are we in your hand, provider for the poor and afflicted. Look to the covenant, not our imperfection. Consider the helm in the seafarer's hand, steering or drifting as the sailor wills it. So are we in your hand, our God of goodness and forgiveness. Look to the covenant, not our imperfection. Consider the glass in the glazier's hand, rounded and melted as the artist desires. So are we in your hand, the one who pardons our errors in our wrongdoing. Look to the covenant, not our imperfection. We are your people, and you are our God. We are your children, and you are our father and our mother. We are on page 106. Kihanu amecha ve'ata Eloheinu anu v'anecha ve'ata avinu anu avadecha ve'ata adoneinu anu kehalecha ve'ata tekeinu Hai, 
We now turn our Maxorim to page 112. Illumine for us the path of our life. Avinu Malkenu, how shall we find the strength to take the road less traveled by? Avinu Malkenu, how shall we come to know the purpose of our existence? Avinu Malkenu, how shall we learn not to live life in vain? Avinu Malkenu, how shall we get out of our indifference? Avinu Malkenu, how shall we distinguish between truth and falsehood? Avinu Malkenu, how shall we find the answers to our questions? Avinu Malkenu, how shall we gird ourselves with strength to seek answers? Avinu Malkenu, be gracious to us, answer us, empower us, and give us courage, for the answers are both in you and with you. We're on page 114. Please rise for Avinu Malkenu. Avinu Malkenu, Shema Koleinu. Avinu Malkenu, hear our voice. Avinu Malkenu, Chatanu Lefanecha. Avinu Malkenu, we have strayed and sinned before you. Avinu Malkenu, Chamol Aleinu, Ve'al Aleinu, Ve'tapeinu. Avinu Malkenu, have compassion on us and our families. Avinu Malkenu, Kaled Ber Bechere Ve'ra'av Me'aleinu. Avinu Malkenu, sickness, violence and hunger. Avinu Malkenu, Kaled Kotzaru Masin Me'aleinu. Avinu Malkenu, all the reign of those who cause pain and terror. Avinu Malkenu, Kotveinu Besefer Chaim Tovim. Avinu Malkeinu, enter our names in the book of lives well lived. Avinu Malkeinu, chadesh aleinu shana tova. Avinu Malkeinu, renew us for year of goodness. We continue in Hebrew. Avinu Malkeinu, malei aderu mi birchotecha. Avinu Malkeinu, arem kere meshichecha. Avinu Malkeinu, naat shivinu reka mili. Avinu Malkenu, Chavev Rachamim Uberatzon, and Tefilateinu. Avinu Malkenu, Ase Imanu Lemaan Shemecha. Avinu Malkenu, Ase Lemancha, Im Lo Lemahaneinu. Avinu Malkenu, Im Lanu Melech Elata. Avinu Malkenu, Tach Sharei Shamayin Lefilateinu. Avinu Malkenu, Shema Kolei.
You can join me on page 668 for Kadish Shalem. My microphone was off. <laughs> Let's say it again. Shana Tova, everyone. Shana Tova. Ah, yours was too. <laughs> I am glad that you turned it on. So, have you read or watched Harry Potter? Yes. yes. Have you?
Do you believe in magic? Okay. I would dare to say that by the end of this Bar Torah, you will believe in magic. But more than that, I pray that you will choose to use it wisely. There is a theory that holds that the words abracadabra are from a Jewish Aramaic source. It is explained that abra comes from the word bria, creating, and kadabra literally means kadabra, as I speak. There is some discussion about the veracity of the Jewish roots of this famous formula. But we are 100% certain that the idea of creating with speech has existed in Jewish tradition from its very beginning. The Torah begins in Genesis by saying, by Yomer Elohim, by Yehi Or, by Yehi Or, God said, let there be light, and there was light. The book of Genesis showcases the crea that creation is done through speech. By Yomer Elohim, God said, thus he creates as he speaks. A few verses later, we learn about the creation of men. And we are told that humans are created with the faculty of speech and with the task to name everything around them, pointing not just to human beings being created in God's image, but also to the fact that we were created with the divine faculty of creating. Our words create. Jewish law certainly recognizes the foundational and creative power of words. Under the chupa, the moment in which we transition from a single to a married is when we say, are at mekudeshedli, or are ata mekudashli. Behold, you are consecrated to me. The witnesses who signed the ketubah attest that indeed the couple have said the words that establish marriage. Thus, the bedrock of a Jewish home is set by speech. A different example appears in the story of Job. You will pray to him, and he will listen to you, and you will say your vows. You will decree, and it will be fulfilled, and light will shine upon your affairs. The rabbis explain this verse, saying that our words below on earth resonate in heaven and come back down to us as a reality. Indeed, words have immeasurable power in Jewish tradition. The foundation of this night, Kol Nidre, is the recognition of that power. We cancel our vows, our words of commitment. We atone for situations in which we use that power wrongly, and we regain our ability to use it again. Words also have the power to energize us and to give us hope. The first blessing in the morning in which we express gratitude, gratitude for being who we are, 
is sealed by stating, Rabba Emunatecha, how great is your trust. Think how powerful it is to start every day by saying that the creator of the world has faith in me and in my ability to live to the best I can be. And of course, if we speak about words, we can't ignore la shonara, gossiping, which our rabbis compare with the worst transgressions, including bloodshed. We are told that la shonara is even worse than a sword, because it can kill from afar. I want to share with you four stories that I hope will offer some perspective on the importance of words. The first story is about a group of frogs who were traveling through the forest when suddenly two of them fell into a deep pit. When the other frogs saw how deep the pit was, they told the two frogs that that was it, that they were as good as dead. The two frogs ignored the comments at first and tried to jump out of the pit using all their might. The other frogs kept telling them to give up, that they were as good as dead. Finally, one of the frogs to heed to what he, sorry, to what the bystander frogs were saying and gave up. He fell down and died. The other frog continued to jump as hard as he could. Once again, the crowd of frogs yelled at him to stop the pain and just die. He jumped even harder and finally, made it out. When he got out, the spectator frogs asked, did you not hear us? <laughs> the frog explained, well, I had mud in my ears and I couldn't hear you, but your constant encouragement helped me to make it through. <laughs> Words can wipe out hope as much as they can trigger it. The two frogs heard very different words. One heard the words of despair stemming from the self-pity of the bystanders struggling to watch the horrible situation. The other frog thought that he heard words of encouragement and support, and so, he kept trying. The second story. The second story has gone viral. It's about a teenager in Ireland who a few years ago was on his way home, was on his way home when he saw a man standing, standing on a bridge. He recognized that the man had a sad and strange look in his face. The boy stopped and asked, are you okay? The man's eyes started filling with tears, and at first he didn't respond. But the boy pleaded with, with him to calm down and tell him what was wrong. The man eventually came down. After a while talking with the boy, he called an ambulance and they exchanged phone numbers. Three months later, the man called the boy and told him that his wife was pregnant with the boy, and they, they were going to name that baby after him. The man said that on the day they met, he was about to jump off the bridge, but those three words, reaching out and asking, are you okay? made all the difference. In fact, he said, those words are still ringing in my ears. 
Imagine if nobody ever asked you those words. Are you okay? The boy could have easily been too embarrassed to reach out. You know that situation, right? That you see something that is wrong and you... You better turn in a different direction. However, his sense of decency prevail. Words can be a gift to others in time of need. They can be life-saving. The third story. The third story also takes place in Europe. Shlomo Karlebach, who was known as the dancing rabbi, used to visit communities, bringing a message of joy and love. One day he got to a town, started knocking at the doors, and no one except one man in the Jewish community was willing to let him in. The man welcomed him and let him spend Shabbat at his home. At the end of Shabbat, Karlebach talked with his host and said, you know, I understand why nobody else opened their doors to me. I understand their suffering and why they struggled with my message. What I don't understand is you. What makes you different? And the man said, I can tell you exactly what it is. I am 75 years old. When I was eight, there was a rumor that the Cossacks were coming to attack our town. And all the parents brought their children to the rabbi's house for the night. I was terrified. We were all sleeping in the rabbi's study. It was the middle of the night, and I pretended to sleep, but I couldn't sleep. I was bitter cold. The rabbi who was walking around passed by me, took the cloak off his shoulders, covered me, and said, good child, sweet child. And his words have kept me warm for the rest of my life. Words of compassion and love can keep you warm for a lifetime. And here is the last story for today. It is someone's personal story that I heard on a TED Talk. As it happened, this person was a magician. And he was saying that a few years ago, he had a couple of performances, per, sorry, performances practicing for a major audition to become a member of a very important organization of magicians. On the night of the first performance, he failed miserably. On the second night, he failed again. And on a trick that he had performed dozens of times in front of an audience, a colleague and friend approached him and asked, what was going on? He told him about the audition and that he thought he wasn't good enough to become a member. Then the friend told him, Abracadabra, what you say is what you do. For the next two weeks, every morning, he would tell himself a story of what his audition was going to be like all in positive terms. He then went to the audition and passed. Words can be self-fulfilling prophecies. Wording matters so much because it is the foundation of our narrative. Now, sometime Last year, I recognized 
that the number one word I was saying to my kids was no. no. <laughs> then I started to think about the nature of my expressions. I wanted to train my inhibiting no with something that would trigger reflection and responsibility. As I was thinking about my word choices, I understood that I wanted to find more positive expressions to communicate with my kids. So I googled it. <laughs> and, and I found a list that I liked. I found expressions such, you are loved. Being a parent is my favorite job. <laughs> I miss you when I don't see you. I think about you all the time. I always, I will always try to keep you safe. You make me smile. I believe you. I love spending time with you. Then I started to randomly read to my kids from my list. It was quite easy to guess. I was holding my phone and reading from it. <laughs> and so, Dad, are you reading from the list again? <laughs> so this soon became a family joke. But after a while, I stopped reading, and these very simple but meaningful words became a part of my vocabulary. I so much enjoy spending time with you. I appreciate your perspective. I deeply care about how you feel. Spending time with you is a priority in my life. Now, all these things were true before, but verbalizing them shaped a more tangible reality for both parties, and it created a commitment for me. As a rabbi, I have the opportunity to witness and comfort people during very significant moments in their lives. Sometimes, when meeting with couples who are dealing with things like illness, I see struggle and at the same time, incredible devotion. And I notice that in conversation with me, deep words of love and dedication come up. Yet when I ask, how do you say these words to your spouse, spouse? The answers, they answer, you know, you're just hanging in there. Or we are living day by day. So I sometimes encourage people to share those words of love and devotion. And then I hear things like, this is a really difficult time, but there is no place in the world I would rather be. Or, I had loved you my entire life, and I still love you right now. And then you see magic happening, and how an environment of hardship and pain becomes transformed into a loving atmosphere that envelops them. I have heard young parents say that their mom or dad, now grandparents, just told them that they are really proud of their parenting. And you can hear the joy in their breath as they say it. Words always matter. But during this time of the year, there is a, an additional dimension to them. The Book of Life. In these days, we are writing in our Book of Life. As such, we metaphorically hold a pen and face a blank paper 
while a literal stream of emotions overflows our hearts. Hopes, dreams, fantasies, expectations, sweetness, bitterness, frustration, love, anger, and fears. Everything is there. And so, in the context of Yom Kippur, the discussion about personal transformation really comes down to the basic question, how to become an intentional writer? I will say it again. The basic question is how to become an intentional writer. On Yom Kippur, and especially during Kol Nidre, we ask to cancel and annul words that we shouldn't have said. But this is also the season to think about the words we haven't said, but we should have. We are here at the beginning of a new year, praying for the ability to fashion our reality. Words can save lives. Words can trigger hope. Words can give pride, confidence, love, and sweetness. Words can keep you warm for a lifetime. I asked you earlier if you believe in magic. I hope by now you believe in the power of your words to shape your narrative and the book of your life. Dear God, we pray on this Yom Kippur to find in our souls the words that we need to hear, the words that give us hope, strength, and warmth. We pray that we can find the words that we need to share with others so we too can offer, can offer hope, strength, love, support, and maybe even offer a life-saving rope in some, for, some time, for someone in need. May we understand and accept your invitation to partner in the constant work of creation. May we become intentional writers in the book of our lives. And let us say, Amen. Hatimatova. As we are standing, we just want to invite our president to say shalom, everyone. An, imp an important concept about, you know, I want to showcase you, Lauren. Okay. Because an important concept about Temple Beth Tikva is come as you are. <laughs> you are not supposed to transform yourself to come here. You are supposed to transform yourself once you come here. So if you see her leaving this building and looking white, uh, so we, we did the magic. Uh, I just say hi to everyone. Yes, I would love to. I remember the mic this time. Um, Shana Tava, everyone. Uh, welcome to TBT again. I'm glad to see how full our synagogue is tonight. It, I was, I'm sitting in the very back because I was late. It brings me so much joy to see so many people here, and I love seeing you guys. Um, so welcome, and I hope that you have a very easy fast the next 20-ish hours. And um, I guess that's it for tonight. Thank you very Shana much. Tova. Please rise as we open the ark. Turn your machzorim to page 116 for Aleinu Leshaveach.
Our thoughts turn to loved ones whom this has taken from us in recent days and those who died at this season in years past. Our hearts open as well to the wider circle of circles of loss in our community and wherever grief touches the human family. If you are during the cycle of the first seven days of mourning, Shiva, please rise. If you are during the first 30 days of mourning, Shloshim, please rise. If you are during the cycle of the first year of mourning, please rise and share the names of the people that you are remembering as I point on your direction. If you have your side this week, please rise. If I'm missing you, please help me and say the names. Luffy? Luffy? Now you can support our fellows while standing or sitting, joining us with your voices and your hearts for Mourner's Kaddish on page 122. It gadal beit kadash shemer rabba be'alma nivra chirute be'amlich malchute be'chayechon uv'yamechon 
וחיי דכל בית ישראל, בהגלה ובזמן קריב, באמרו אמן. יהא שמר רבה מאורך לעולם ולמי עלמיה. יתברך וישתבח ויתפעל ויתרומם ויתנשא. ויתעלל ויתעלה ויתעלל שמי לקודשיו. לעילה מנקול ברכתה ושירתה. תושבחתה ונחמתה. ואמירם בעלמה באמרו אמן. יהא שלמר רבה מן שמיה. וחיים טובים עלינו ועל כל ישראל באמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו. הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל, ואמרו אמן. May the memories of your dear ones be a living blessing in your life. Yes, Ikram Baruch, you may be seated. So two, we have two hours to share about tomorrow. 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. That's it. Uh, but in the middle, uh, Mitch Goldberg will be leading a study session. Uh, and if you haven't been to one of his study sessions, we strongly encourage you to, to get some, uh, some real wisdom uh, and some meaningful discussion and conversation. Uh, we are going to start to conclude our service. Please rise. We make sure that we see each other. If you are alone, make sure that you make eye contact with someone who is standing near you. Let's make sure that no one feels alone in this uh, evening of Yom Kippur. Eloi Asman, O God of time. Eloi Teshuvah. O God of repentance, Beloei Atzniut, O God of humility, help us on this most awesome day of the year to find the humility in order to allow ourselves the opportunity to better our lives. Give us the audacity, the audacity to ask, what can I offer? What should I rectify? Eloia Teshuvah, God of repentance, give us the courage to embrace the opportunity to live fully, to understand that our lives belong to us and that we have the power to transform ourselves. Help us, O oh God, to find the courage to open our hearts and to encounter our souls. On Yom Kippur, as we acknowledge the gift of life and the responsibility that we have over this gift, we also think about those who are not here with us today. O oh God of comfort, please be and let us be present for all those who are missing someone tonight. May their memory be a blessing. And may that blessing inspire us to live, to live up to the vision of a life with profound purpose. Eloia Refua, God of healing. May those who are ill find healing. And may we become partners in bringing healing to your world, which is so desperately in need of love, harmony, and peace. Source of beam, may these next hours of Yom Kippur help us be inquisitive and to go deeper in the search for spiritual strength. So tomorrow night, when the gates are locked and we walk out of the shul, we will be ready and filled with the strength to transform our lives and to transform the entire world. May God bless you and protect you. 
May, God, may you feel God's presence within you always. Isa Adonai panav elechem beasim lachem shalom. May God's presence be within you always. And may God bless all of us with peace. Hatimatova.